former President Trump faces new charges related to his alleged mishandling of confidential documents. He's now charged in two separate cases, and more charges could be coming as the 2024 campaign season ramps up. Here's ABC's Justin Finch with the latest. In an unprecedented development, ABC News has learned former President Donald Trump will be criminally indicted by the Justice Department after a months long investigation into his alleged mishandling of classified documents found at his Mar-a-Lago home. Sources say there will be at least seven counts, ranging from willful retention of national defense information to conspiracy to a scheme to conceal to false statements and representations. Trump's suspected refusal to return the documents to the National Archives led a federal judge to authorize the FBI to search his Florida estate last August. They recovered dozens of documents, despite Trump's team saying they had turned over all requested materials. Earlier this week, sources telling ABC News that Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, has testified before a federal grand jury on both the classified documents probe and Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. It's unclear when Meadows testified. On Monday, Trump's lawyers held a meeting with at least one Department of Justice official and with special counsel Jack Smith, who was appointed by Attorney General Merrick Garland to oversee the case. Weeks earlier, they had received a target letter from the DOJ, alerting them that Trump was the target of a criminal investigation. Trump's lawyers had requested the meeting, hoping to make the case against indicting their client. That effort failed. We don't have any comment. Amid allegations that Trump or his legal team had misrepresented whether there were any additional documents in Trump's possession, in March, an appeals court unanimously ordered Trump's lawyer, Evan Corcoran, to provide evidence and testify before a grand jury. Trump denying any wrongdoing in this case, citing attorney-client privilege to keep Corcoran from taking the stand, but a federal appeals court rejected those efforts. Sources tell ABC News the former president has been ordered to appear in federal court in Miami on Tuesday. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.